Hi, YouTubers, it's Evan X right now, so tobacco is right now, so uh, tobacco is like big ass cigar, we're talking about right now, uh, gluten and tobacco. So, uh, basically, this is a very serious topic. So, uh, is there gluten or uh, wheat, barley, or rye or oats in pipe tobacco, cigarettes, uh, cigars, cigarellos, etc., etc.? And the simple answer is no. And even if it was hypothetically, which I'm not actually sure about that, I'm not, you know, a rocket scientist, big ass cigar for life, I'm not somebody who's in, in the tobacco industry, so I'm not not sure about that. <laughs> there might be gluten proteins in the tobacco plant, in the processing plant. I mean, cigarettes have so much crap and so much shit in them, so it's hard to tell. However, um, because you burn tobacco, because unlike a sandwich or a muffin or a donut, big ass cigar of life, which you eat and goes through your digestive tract from your mouth to your asshole, um, Unlike that, uh, because you're burning the tobacco and, and creating a smoke or a vapor, uh, and you're either inhaling into your lungs or exhaling through your nose or retrohaling or blowing through your mouth, um, you're not absorbing any calories. So when you eat something like a donut or a piece of fruit or a piece of meat, you're absorbing calories and nutrition through your digestive tract, your small intestine, your colon. I'm not a doctor, I'm not giving medical advice, but you ask your life. But when you create a smoke or a vapor, you're not absorbing any nutrients. So it's the same thing as distilled alcohol it is like um, you can people who have gluten intolerance, celiac disease, can generally drink whiskey and bourbon that's made from um, wheat, barley, and rye is distilled, and once it's distilled, it burns it off at least down to the 20 parts per million, which is the FDA standard. So, again, I'm not a doctor, a big ass CR for life, or a big ass scientist for life. So, the simple answer is there, there may be gluten in tobacco products, however, because you're burning it and creating a smoke and a vapor, it does not... Uh, it does not affect the small intestine. Though I have heard um, through different people that some pipe smokers um, do get uh, celiac disease-like reactions if they're very sensitive to uh, gluten. I think years and years ago, back in 2011, uh, Pipe Friends, actually, actually made a video about that, that somebody he, he was talking to actually had celiac disease reactions to pipe tobacco, to tobacco in general. So, I don't know, big ass, scarf life, bye.